if I built a house. Today's story is a clever story about an imaginative boy's dream house. Today's themes are creativity and imagination. Today's question is, what would you build if you could create your own home? Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Jack, in the backyard, said to his mother, This house is okay, but it's like any other. It's boxy and boring and basically bland. It's nothing at all like the house I have planned. My house will be different. It can't be the norm. I'll think about traffic flow, function, and form. Oh, it may include shapes like a tower or drone, but I'll focus on what makes building a home. It's the rooms on the inside that make it unique. So step through the door and let's take a peek. We'll start with the basics right off the bat. Check out my all-in-one kitchen on that. You don't have to cook and you don't have to clean. It's done by a space age robotic machine. It makes all the meals and the food is delish. Then it washes and puts away every last dish. The living room's next. It's fun. Come on in. The chairs and the table and sofa all spin, and trampolines lead to a giant ball pit. It's a pretty neat room, you have to admit. Now, look in the bathroom. No shower, no tub. Instead, take a ride on my scrub-a-dub-dub. Just step on the belt and it washes you clean, even the places you've never seen. And here is my bedroom, way up in the sky on top of a tower 200 feet high. With glass all around, just check out the view. A bed in a tower? Now that's something new. The rooms we walked through just moments before are the kinds that you'll find in any decor. But if I built a house, I'd add a few more. So hop on the slide, it's time to explore. You know how I constantly like to create? Well, this is my art room. Isn't it great? You draw on the wall. Don't worry, it's cool. Hung way up high on a big giant spool is a huge roll of paper that hangs to the floor. Just draw till you're done, then pull down some more. Next comes my flying room. See how it's tall? It's empty except for a switch on the wall. Just turn off the switch and you'll float off the ground, then flap like a bird and fly all around. Isn't it nice to be up in the air? A room without gravity? That's pretty rare. This is my racetrack room. Step right inside. It's less like a room and more like a ride. It features a racetrack that loops all around with super fast go-karts that don't make a sound. You'll fly and you'll flip and you'll zip and you'll zoom. You have to admit, it's a wonderful room. A room filled with water? Now that's something new. But if I built a house, that's just what I'd do. This is my fish tank room. Ain't it a sight? Don't worry, they're friendly. Critters won't bite. Just strap on an ear mask to swim with the fishes. Now this is a room that every kid wishes. Course, I've been saving the best room for last. And literally speaking, this room is a blast. So welcome, sit down, I'll seal up the hatches. This plexiglass playroom completely detaches. You fly it around, why it even has jets. For me, this room is as good as it gets. My house will be nifty. My house will be neat. My house will stand out as the best on the street. Daringly bold, yet exquisitely fine. A must-see example of modern design, my house will be hailed as refreshingly new. If I built a house, that's just what I'd do. For today's activity, I want you to become an architect. An architect is a person who designs buildings, and they often create these really cool drawings called blueprints. This is what Jack drew as his blueprints of his dream house. Now, think about your dream house. What will you put in it? A self-cleaning kitchen? I'm sure your parents would like that. A flying room, an arts and crafts palace? A bike room? Then, get a piece of paper and some coloring tools. Crayons, color pencils, markers, whatever you like to use. As an architect, 
I want you to draw a picture or a blueprint of your house. I can't wait to see how creative you are. I would love to see these pictures. So if you want to ask your grown-up to take a picture of it and send it to me at thegivingprojectforchildren at gmail.com, I would love to respond. Thank you so much for sharing this book with me. Let's continue to develop our love of reading together. Till next time.